Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to have a first look at this Sony Xperia Sola. I know this is an old mobile uh, that was launched in 2012 and I hadn't reviewed it at that time but quite a few of you guys have asked me to test it. And in this video I'll give you my initial uh, impressions and a general overview about this phone. And before that, I want to thank Faisal Communications for providing this unit for review. And the good thing that I like about this mobile as of now is, if you notice last year, the MRP pricing quoted on the box is around 20,449. And it was selling for in the market for around 19,000 to 19,500. But now the price of this mobile has uh, gone down uh, drastically and it sells for a street price of just around 14,500 and I feel it's a very good price for this mobile because it has some decent specs to go with the same. It sports a 1 gigahertz uh, a dual core processor, it has 512 MB of RAM and let me show you it has a 5 megapixel rear facing camera again the quality of which is pretty good it has LED flash and we can open the back cover by just sliding this up like this and this opens and as you can see this model does support micro sd card expansion up to 32 gb internal storage is around 8 gb but you get about 4 gb out of that and you can add a normal sized sim card like this to the phone i've added one sim card the capacity of the battery is 1320 mah but it's a non-removable and it slides down uh, it does not have a front facing camera that's the only con that i feel and uh, it also has the mali gpu uh, so uh, for gaming also it should be pretty decent uh, the only con is out of the box this phone comes with uh, android version that is 2.3 that's gingerbread uh, but I believe Sony has released ICS update but when I checked for the software update I did not find any update for example let me show you the same and it is booted again one thing I really liked about this phone is the screen quality the screen quality is really good and uh, just it pops out the screen resolution is 854 by 480 pixels so again everything looks really crisp if you notice how crisp is the text uh, so I like the screen quality very much now let me show you the Android version and as you can see here let's go to the settings and let's go to about the phone and it says that it's running the Android version 2.3.7 and uh, for example if I go to the software update I checked it it already says that our phone is already running the latest update I believe Sony has already released the ICS update but uh, uh, I was reading some forums and the uh, results are kind of mixed. Some people say that the phone starts to lag a little bit with ICS and Sony has confirmed that this phone will not get Jelly Bean update. But apart from that, uh, let's look at the performance of the phone with the, what do you say, gingerbread because the specs are really good. Uh, as we are connected to my Wi-Fi network, before that, let me also show you the storage. Let's go to settings and uh, let's go to storage. I added a 8 GB SD card but also without that you get about 4 GB of internal storage and also phone memory that is available is about 1.76 GB as it also has a micro SD card slot so I feel that you shouldn't have any problems regarding storage on this phone also let me show you the display and again it supports auto brightness so that's also really cool uh, so let me get out and now as we are connected to our Wi-Fi network let me switch on the browser and it's going to the Sony mobile website again if you notice with most of these uh, Sony phones the width is a little bit narrow so it's kind of a love or hate relationship uh, I would say and let's go to tech2bus.com and let's try the pinch gesture as you can see it's uh, really nice so let's go to tech2bus again if you noticed it, uh, it loaded it fairly quickly I would say no issues and uh, let's open up this nexus phone unboxing story and let's change the orientation and let's see if it can play back flash content that's already embedded on the web page and let's try to play back this one and the volume rocker is over here and also we get a dedicated camera shutter button and as you can see it is playing back the video again no issue so let me get out kinetic scrolling is also decent i would say let's try one more website like let's see a 
tech spot again uh, it will take some time to get used to the keyboard i would say tech spot yeah, i hit that and it's gone to the mobile version and again fairly quickly i would say there is a slight uh, lag but uh, as you can see not uh, silky smooth and this is the full uh, version let's try the pinch to zoom gesture again pinch to zoom is also fairly responsive let's open up uh, one of the stories and let's double tap and we get this double tap to zoom and we also get this plus and minus buttons uh, which uh, do what do you say uh, text reflow for example like this we just zoom like this it won't do text reflow but if you're using this plus or minus button then you get this text reflow option so that's also nice so let me get out of the web browser and uh, again uh, let's look at the camera because uh, the camera is a 5 megapixel shooter and also it can shoot videos in 720p HD so let's open up the camera app this is the camera app again not the quickest it took a second to load and uh, there is a certainly a delay it's not like instant that we're seeing in the new Android phones for example uh, let me switch off the flash now let's switch off the flash and let's see how fast it can take again it was a little bit quicker and I did take some of the pictures in low lighting conditions for example uh, this I took and I would say without the flash this is without the flash the picture came out to be pretty clear uh, if you guys want I'll do a complete review regarding the photographs do let me know in the comment section so this is a quick hands-on uh, overview of the Sony Xperia uh, Solo looks like a nice phone i'll be testing it at a lot more if you uh, want that i do a full uh, review for this phone do let me know in the comment section below that's it for now for this quick look at the sony xperia solo also another good thing about this phone is it has nfc support and we also get nfc tag so again very good config and now uh, especially in india sony is offering it at a very good price so that's it for now this is ranjit for tech2bus.com and i hope to see you in my next video